Well, what you said to us was um, this success culture that we have here yes. in Britain is contributing to a, to a mental health epidemic. I mean, this is incredibly serious. And what, what do you mean by that? What is this success culture? Yes, we're really worried about British girls. They have a, a one in three chance of being treated for anxiety and depression, a one in 12 chance of an eating disorder. And what we think it is, is that the whole country got too busy and you have the longest working hours in Europe. Um, and the success culture, what I mean by that is people think, and girls think, mm. that you've got to be the best looking, you've got to be the, um, the best school marks and athletic and do good deeds. And, and mm. it's turned into a competition. Now, three out of five girls are fine, but two out of five, they just seem to take that to heart yeah, and, and they much. start crashing. And so we're trying to persuade our mums and dads, that we've, we've got to be practical about this. What can you do in your family? And, and the, the 10 things girls need most is that this idea that there's things you can do in your home so that your daughter isn't one of the ones yeah. who's, who's Well, you've got, you've got a daughter. Yeah, I've I got do. Two daughters, yeah. they've grown up now. But mm. um, so, do so what do you do then? How do you, how do you begin to address this? And at what stage? Yes, what we do is we say, OK, in, in the book, look at the 10 things and it, it diagnoses what you might have missed. And so, for instance, li little girls need to really feel very loved and secure when they're little. And so if you can tick that off and say, yes, when she was little, our family was able to really relax. We enjoyed her when she was a baby. But if that wasn't the case, it's not too late because girls go through a second babyhood. When they're about 13, their brain changes mean that they go very kind of soggy and dopey and, and it means that they're recycling babyhood again. And so, wow. so if you... If you're a dad, for instance, if, she'll sit on your knee and you can feed popcorn into her mouth, you know, and she, she just is ready to be babied again. And wow, so you can always fix these things. I never want parents to worry that it's too late. Um, also in your book, you talk about the importance of having a good structure and group around girls. Um, and uh, we used to be part of villages where there would be a real support network and that actually girls need that. Yes, aunties seem to be the key yeah. for girls. There's certain ages when they just don't want to talk to mum right. because it's too embarrassing or around about the age of 12, they, they don't want to turn out like their mum. They're really sort of strong on that. Uh. And so what aunties do is they can talk about embarrassing stuff and they ask the big questions and they also talk a lot of sense about boys to girls. And so oh, right. if, if a girl is, you know, 16 say and she's about to get into a car with some boys who've had too much to drink or something like that her auntie will pop up in her mind you know my auntie would kill me if i get myself murdered and put on the front page oh, right. wow. and she'll and she'll say no nope, i'm not coming with you mm. and so aunties seem to provide some backbone to girls yeah okay What's yeah. spark Spark. I mean, we heard, is it the same as I've always heard, is that, oh, no, there's a kid with a bit of spark? It's a bit different to that, because what, this is some very good research that came out, that kids who have an interest, a really consuming interest, it doesn't matter if it's collecting fossils or horses or whatever it is, those kids do better in school. And they seem to, in the course of their spark, it makes them sort of have a priority other than just looking pretty, other than just being a... Um, boys and fashion and things like that and they also they your interest that takes you into the adult world more and so you meet other adults and different kinds for a girl different kinds of women so she can base her womanhood on on a broader palette of what womanhood looks like. You also say um, to do much more kind of natural things with your child, with your daughter, and not necessarily fall into that trap of taking them clothes shopping. And actually, maybe that's something you should never really do. Well, n n not not as much as people. Not a, don't no. make clothes shopping your only bonding thing. Yeah. But yes, we say that nature nurtures, and that where our sense of peace comes from and a feeling like that, that we belong in the world comes from sitting on lonely beaches and, and mountaintops and playing in the mud and the It's a dirt. bit impractical for everyone though, isn't it? Well, I, I think um, it matters so much. That, and if you ask girls what was their best ever memory, like this is like 25 year olds, what was your best ever memory? They'll say, it was that time me and dad went camping. You know, or when Dad took us to that beach and we just felt yeah. like we were the only people in the world.